Hi, my name is Scott Kiefler, and I'm one of the shop, shop stewards here for the engineering department. I'm going to be going over general shop safety and also some rules that will help you be safe in the shop environment. These rules are not only for the machine shop, but also for the wood shop here. And then the purpose of these rules are to keep you safe, but then also to maintain the shop environment. These safety glasses can be found at the entrance to the shop. So there are three entrances to the shop and there are also corresponding racks at the entrance to the shop. These racks hold two types of safety glasses. First, they're the ones that go straight over your eyes, or if you wear glasses, they're kind of more of safety goggles. So if you have glasses, you need to put on these slightly larger pair. Other thing that's important is to use the safety equipment that is in place on the pieces of machinery. So for example, the lathe has a chuck guard, which needs to be used whenever you're using, whenever you are performing a milling operation. And then also the mills themselves have milling guards and they also need to be used when you are performing a machining operation. Having proper attire in the work environment. The first part of this is securing all loose items. So caught up in this is, for example, strings on a jacket. When you lean over, these can hang down while you're working. Especially with power tools, this is important to secure because they can get caught in the spindle of a lathe, for example, and that can be extremely dangerous. So they need to be tucked away. This goes as well for necklaces, for example. Also, if you have bracelets on your arm, those can get caught while using power tools, so need, those need to be secured and put away as well. The second thing is wearing closed toed shoes. So during a mill, milling operation or a welding operation, you can have uh, hot bits of metal flying towards your feet. It's very important to wear closed toed shoes while in the shop, so no sandals, no flip flops. Then finally, the other thing is securing your hair. This also includes is included in the loose material criteria. So if you're a girl, generally you'll need to secure your hair if it's below your collar. And then also if you have a beard, you need to make sure to secure that as well. It's what kind of teams you have to have in the machine shop. We require that you have at least two students in the shop area at one time. This is so that if you need help, with a piece of machinery or something goes wrong, you have a buddy to help you out. Before using a piece of equipment, you need to be signed off on it by either a professor, Mr. Bauer, or a shop steward. This is very important for your safety and for the upkeep of the machines because it's important to know how to use the lathe, the mill, or any other type of power tool before going at it. You can be signed off. Here we have sheets and waiver forms as well. And then also we require that if you don't know how to use a piece of machinery that you come and tell us that you have it. We assume that you do, so you need to come to us. We do permit music if it's through a speaker. However, we do not permit headphones to be used in the shop environment. This is because it's important to be able to hear the milling operation or the lathing operation or the drilling operation or any type of operation we are performing in the shop area while, while it's ongoing. This is important because you can tell if something's going wrong by the sound of the operation. The sixth item I'd like to talk about is when you're done in the shop, you need to put all the tools back and clean up after yourself. This is normal shop upkeep and we expect it of you as well. The seventh item I'd like to talk about is no food or drink in the work area. This is because you can spill water, sodas, on the machinery. Also, it's distracting for not only yourself, but other workers in the shop. And the final item I want to talk about, number eight. There is no horseplay in the machine shop or the wood shop. If you misbehave, joke around in terms of like mistreating tools, we will ask you to leave because these pieces of machinery can definitely hurt you if misused and so 
we require you to take this very seriously. So in conclusion, these rules are for your safety and for maintaining the shop. If you have any concerns on safety or you see any hazards in the shop environment, please let a professor or the lab master, Mr. Bauer, or a shop steward know right away. And then finally, remember that the shop is a privilege to use and thus it should be taken care of. Thank you.